Hey guys, um, sorry I haven't done a video in a while, school just started and I've been busy with homework and stuff like that, but anyway, I got a new Lego set, which is the Dirt Bike Transporter, um, the main reason I wanted this was for the dirt bikes, obviously, because they're sweet, and, um, this was a set from 2012, only in stores for a little while. You can't get it anymore. I got this off Amazon for 35 bucks. Unfortunately, it was 20 bucks in the store, so they added some money to it, but that's all right. What I'm going to do is an unboxing and review, so I'm going to unbox it, go off camera, build it, then go back on camera and show you it. So let's unbox it. Sorry, I don't have a tripod or anything. Uh, let's see. Okay, this is instruction manual for the SUV that hauls the dirt bikes looks like. Alright, let's see what else we got here. The bags. Here's bag one. Looks like those are the pieces for the truck. And heck, let's just dump everything out. And looks like that was it. And here we have the wheels and stuff for the dirt bikes. Alright guys, so that's basically everything. Oh, and we have um, an instruction manual for the dirt bikes. So yeah, there's the first stuff guys. I'm going to go ahead and build this and I'll check back with you in a little while. Alright guys, finished building the set. Um, yeah, I made it. I set everything up the way it said on the instructions on the last page of how it looks, but of course you can move everything around. So, what we're going to start with is the main attraction, which is the SUV and trailer. Right now we're just going to focus on the SUV, then we'll go to the trailer. So, you can see you got those really nice wheels, not just the normal Lego wheels, and you can this rolls very nicely. Oh, I didn't roll that enough, okay. See, it goes a while before it'll stop. And you can see there's a spare tire on the top. You got the nice racing stickers. Here's the bottom. And then to get the guy in there, you just take this very top piece off. And then you can see there is... A seat and steering wheel in there. Oh, my camera's really cruddy, so you probably can't see. But there's a seat and a steering wheel in there, so you can just plop the guy right in the seat. And when he's done, you can put this thing back on. Alright, and then, um, what's cool about the spare tire is that it snaps right in there. You can see there's like a little, um, bar that sticks out. And then you, there, and then... In the little thing that holds it, there's like a hole. Whoops, dropped the wheel. There's a hole right in the middle, so you can just stick it on and it'll secure. You don't have to worry about it falling loose when you're driving. And now let's open up the trunk or hatch, and you can store stuff in there, like tools and stuff. And if the other guy wanted to ride in the back, he could. Be a little bit of a rough ride. I wouldn't want to do it, but he could. Let's close that up. So yeah, you got the nice windshield, side, rear view mirrors. So yeah, that pretty much wraps it up for the SV, uh, the SV, the SUV. Now let's move on to the trailer. Um, you can see that there are like fire extinguishers here in case like I don't know the dirt bike's engine fails and it catches on fire or something. You got those right there. And what's cool is that you have on each of the little squares on top, they have one stud poking out of it, so you can put these little barrels on it. So you can store the hats and the helmets on them. They'll secure in place. You don't have to worry about those falling off. There you go there. Oops, the dirt bike's falling off. And yeah, these little things, the little ramps, you can tilt down.
to the ground so that the dirt bikes can drive up them so that they can get them on the trailer. Let's close that back up for now. All right. And now I'm going to show you how to secure the dirt bike into the trailer. It's actually a really cool mechanism. I like it. You can see it comes with a kickstand on each side. I don't see I don't see the point in putting one on each side, but I guess it's cool. And then you can see they move back so that you can move away when you want to drive them. But they also drive with them down. But you know, let go just put them like that. And then the way you you put them in the trailer is you can see there are those little the little poking out thing. I don't really know what it's called. And then you can just take the kickstand on the bike. You can just snap it right in there. And then it's secured in place. So you don't have to worry about it when the SUV is on the highway. <laughs> and then you have these really cool little racing cones here for a race, start and finish line. And then the wheels are just small whoops everything fall off just a second guys you can see a black screen for a second while I put stuff back in it's all falling out sorry right, guys seeing a black screen for a couple seconds okay there we go I'm all good and then next thing is the little drawers you can store tools in them and kind of hard to there we go I opened one, you can see there's, I don't really know what that is, like a screwdriver, not a screwdriver, I don't know what that is. You can put that in there. But you know, the bad thing with the drawers is that they just come right out when you take them out. Just a sec, uh, sorry that you have to keep seeing this, I wish I had my tripod. And you can see they just come right out. I think Lego could have done a better job of securing them in there, but I guess if you wanted to use the black or the red piece with the space inside it to build something else, you could just take the drawers out. You know, you have drawers on the other side, you know. Ugh, right. Just a second to put the camera down again. And you can see there's more tools in here, a screwdriver there, I think. That, or, or that's a drill. And you see there's another one of the black sticks with the hole on the side, which I don't really know what that is. If you know what that is, tell me in the comments. So, yeah, that pretty much wraps it up for the SUV and the trailer. So, let's stick that right back on here, guys. There we go. And now let's go to the dirt bikes. And the minifigures. You know what? I should have actually started with the minifigures. I'm sorry about that. Okay, so the first minifigure we have is this guy. They have the red caps, but you can put the helmets on when they're racing. And it has, like, the the little the oil pump to pump oil or gas in the dirt bikes. You can see his shirt says oil. You actually can't see that because my camera is crud. But... You know, that's it says oil there. And yeah, let's go to the next minifigure. Alright. Here's the next minifigure. He happens to have a helmet on at the moment. His shirt says oil too. You know, nothing special. Let's put him off to the side. Now let's go to the dirt bikes. Uh, the green one, you can see Lego gives you some stickers to put on. It's just one sticker. For the green one, the sticker is number six. For the orange one, the sticker is number eight. So you can see you have those nice wheels, rubber, you know, the kickstands, handlebars. Mm, you know, it's cool, and there's actually an original Lego motorcycle, but it these are a lot more realistic looking. I like a lot better, and that's pretty much why I wanted this set. Now for the orange bike, see, basically the same bike, except the sticker's number 8, not 6, and it's orange. That's Those are the only differences between the two bikes. So yeah, we covered bikes. Mini figs that I guess are dead got hit by the dirt bikes and the SUV and trailer. 
So I hope you enjoyed my review of the Lego Dirt Bike Transporter, and I will catch you later.